A Worcester police officer who survived brain, testicular, and lung cancer is sharing his story of survival tonight in the city. Our Jennifer Zarate has a look at tonight's Evening of Inspiration event at St. Vincent Hospital. Hundreds are celebrating survivorship at this year's fifth annual fundraiser to benefit Live Strong at the YMCA of Central Massachusetts. You know, every time I tell my story, people mention how crazy it is. I don't think it's that crazy just because it's my story. But if it's going to inspire people and help them out and, you know, help them push through some tough times, then you know, I'll tell my story a thousand times. A survivor of brain, testicular, and lung cancer, Worcester Police Officer Jonathan Dage was this year's keynote speaker. Within a three-year time period, I had 10 procedures, but for me, it was always, here's what's going on, this is what we're going to do. So it definitely kept me upbeat, and through treatments, I would always, if I felt good, I, was always, I would always get out of the house, go to the gym. I got to meet Jonathan during the Pan Mass Challenge and I was just so impressed with him because even when he was doing his treatment they brought in a stationary bike into his room and he was actually physically doing treatment for eight hours and working on his bike. The YMCA Sharon Henderson says Officer Dage has one of the best attitudes of anybody she's ever met with or without cancer. Henderson says physical fitness and exercise does make a difference. The money they raise goes towards hiring special personal trainers who work with cancer survivors. So it's, it's about getting people back into some sort of level of physical activity. But one of the greatest pieces of this program has been the camaraderie that other cancer survivors find with each other. John Doyle acted as MC for the event. The vice chairman of the YMCA of Central Mass shared his wife's story of surviving cancer. When she began the program, she was very weakened and she had lost 50 pounds. And so the, I think the emotional bonding with others that had been through that process was extremely uplifting to her and she knew she wasn't alone. So that was uh, amazing, amazing to have that. Uh, and that's what the program provides, you know, encouragement to continue to get strong. President and CEO of the, Centra, of the YMCA of Central Massachusetts, Kathy Zing Hunter, says the program has raised more than $300,000 since they started five years ago. The program is free to cancer survivors, so by raising funds, cancer patients and their families have more access to it. Back to you, Andy. Our Jennifer Zarate reporting for us tonight.